see uh, the ladies have in India is uh, PCOD which means polycystic ovarian disease it is also known as PCOS now what is the problem in these patients usually they will come with weight gain acne hirsutism which means facial hair and um, either blood sugar spikes or high insulin levels so when these patients walk to your door what are the things that you need to explain to them and what is the major breakthrough that will actually cure your PCOD now what is my typical advice to a patient with PCOD first and foremost apart from drugs it's very important to change lifestyle it's very important that you exercise even if it's for 20 minutes it's very important that you eat high proteins and enough fiber throughout the day so that your sugar won't dip see what example i'm going to quote is that for example you started your morning with um, something very high in sugar let's say a muffin high loaded sugar carb muffin so what is going to happen is your insulin spiked and if you have pcos that insulin spike remained high so you're not gonna you're not gonna feel that you ate anything because your sugar is dipping again and you feel like having another muffin so same thing continues you have another muffin and uh, spikes again and still spikes again and then you know it just brings your sugar down again and this whole cycle just keeps continuing so for example you had a bran muffin in the morning and a glass of low-fat milk or eggs and you were um, gone and I'm telling you it really works that because for uh, at least you know four three to four hours you know you don't need anything to eat because your sugar has been stabilized through that period of time and it's very important for you to do that exercising as I said 20 minutes is okay if you can do yoga you can do Pilates any form of exercise that you can do which is okay for you is very important just walking also can help so what happens when you have a PCOS now you have cysts in your ovaries and um, is that the real problem no so what happens is that you become insulin resistant now insulin is a very important metabolic hormone and I think we should really focus on that and what happens the cyst is a secondary issue now the primary issue that we're dealing with is insulin resistance which means that when you eat anything sweet or high in carbohydrate the insulin just spikes up and once it spikes up it's going to remain there because you're already resistant to insulin the body is not working to bring it down and it starts storing fat because insulin is a fat storing hormone so what happens is that uh, higher the insulin the more hypoglycemia starts happening and your uh, sugar start dipping more and you start feeling very hungry and you then end up eating something sweet or because you're craving it and that's that's a real issue there so when I uh, see these patients you know the first thing I always explain is don't worry about the cysts in the ovaries you know right now what we need to really worry about is how your health is so lifestyle changes are very important you need to exercise you need to start having a proper diet you need to stop having toxic foods from the environment it is very important that we have to change this lifestyle from the day one they walk into my office you know I'm I literally tell my patients please do not have sodas do not have um, you know all the aerated sweetened drinks and uh, you know not, not to buy ice creams and you know limit them not exactly stop them but I you know limit them uh, or very highly concentrated sweets or you know uh, refined flour and white rice I try to tell patients to you know lessen them to stay, take a step down it's not you know it's not, it's not possible to just stop everything you know the day they walk in so it's just a step down and it takes a few days maybe a month or so and the PCOS is actually cured so my uh, next issue is how do we start this uh, program you know how do we start curing ourselves of PCOD so first thing you have to know that we have to start um, exercising a little bit you know I know it's a busy life nobody gets time you can do 10 minute videos from the YouTube you can pick up any 10 minute 20 minute exercise go for a walk you know it's it's okay to go for 15 20 minutes walk you can get up a little early try to do some form of exercise because we need blood flowing through your ovaries also so you know we need to ha what happens when you exercise you know, there's a lot of blood flow and you know um, 
there's a lot of exchange of old blood into new blood and that kind of thing. I'm trying to tell you this in very layman terms. And so we need that exchange, you know, we need that exchange all over the body. So you need to, you know, exercise really helps you to move all those toxins. So you can do something and uh, 150 minutes a week is really a good amount of exercise if you can, you know, pull that off. And if you can't work out during the week, you're very busy, you know, working 12 hours, driving time. So you can try the weekends and weekends also you can push in an hour or so for workout, which is pretty good. So the next step is going to be um, high fiber, high fiber, good amount of protein and whole carbs. So you're not going to eat um, a muffin for breakfast, you know, because you're going to spike insulin and you know the whole story then. So what you're going to try to eat is like an oatmeal, high fiber, um, oat bran or wheat bran or wheat flakes. Now they are high fiber so they don't spike your insulin and they keep your sugars balanced you know throw in some protein have some eggs and uh, you know your sugars are going to be balanced if you need help from a nutritionist or dietitian you should uh, contact someone for the help because a good diet and a good lifestyle regime apart from many drugs that can be used for PCOS I think these two work wonderfully and if you can do that I'm telling you it's a hundred percent cure rate I have seen it I have known many people who've done it and it's not difficult at all. I wish you all the luck viewers and if you have any questions, you want me to talk about anything else, any topics that you think, please make uh, leave comments in the bottom and I will make sure that you know as and when I get time, I'm going to make these videos. Thank you very much for watching.